Everybody, Teddy, coming to you from Arizona. It's Monday. Hope everybody had a good weekend. It was gorgeous here. Weather was awesome. A great day for baseball on Saturday. My little boys did good. Came from behind and uh, gave gave me a heart attack. But uh, added a few more a few more hairs to here. But anyways, I uh, wanted to share some things with you. Let some of you guys know, or all of you guys know, that uh, if you start subscribing to my blog site, which is eddieaguilar.com. Uh, for those of you that don't know, I'm working on a book on the effects of suicide, which is going to be called uh, Left Behind, Suicide's Rippling Effect, which is going to deal with um, testimonies from family members who got left behind due to, due to the effects of uh, due to suicide. So uh, please feel free to subscribe. And uh, the, the thing is, is uh, once I hit a certain number, I'm going to start sending out little bits and pieces of uh, what I've written and uh, allow you to uh, critique and share your responses and some of you guys will be getting part of the book before it even comes out so anyways uh, one thing I want to touch up on uh, in dealing with all that talking about that is uh, was reading pulled something from a book called Outwitting the Devil and that book is not as popular as this other as another book that this author has written but in this book he's talking about um, he hits a slump and, and I call it a slump, and that's what the, the series next week is going to be on, the slumps uh, in our daily lives. But he falls into where he's being unproductive, financially struggling, struggling depressed, um, so on and so forth. So this author, this guy walks up this hill, walks around the building, <clears throat> and decides he's not going to walk home until he figures out what, what he's going to do. But while he's doing this, he's telling himself he's so disgusted with himself. He's disgusted. He's disgusted. He's disgusted. Can't tell you if that says enough. And how many of us out there have felt that? How many of us have felt looked in the mirror and just like, I can't believe I did that or I can't believe I didn't do that? And some of us sulk in it and kind of have our little pity parties. But um, I'm guilty. I'm way guilty of that too. So don't think I'm calling everybody out. Uh, the main thing is, though, is he entertained uh a sense of hope. Even though he was disgusted with himself, he knew he was going to sit there and he was going to fight his way out of it, whatever he had to do to get himself where he needed to be and become one of the most influential people in, in, in our days. And for those of you that don't know, this guy is Napoleon Hill. The book is Outwitting the Devil. He wrote it in 1938, but it was not published till 2011. And there's a story behind that. So if you want, please look up the book, or or I'll be sharing more on that here in the future. But anyways, I uh, just wanted to throw that out there. So even the great ones have had tough times. So uh, you got the Beatles have had tough time. How about Steve Jobs, Jobs, uh, Michael Jordan, Eminem. So a lot of those guys uh, set an example. So if you guys are struggling out there, keep fighting and uh, keep your head up. And uh, we'll talk to you soon. So you guys enjoy your evening. Good night.